Hi, welcome to M Angel Says. I'm M Angel, and I've been a YouTuber for about over two years now, we'll say. Two months ago, I was preparing to take a summer vacation, a trip. 40 days in Europe, technically only two countries, but I'll say Europe, it qualifies. And I thought it would be fun to try out vlogging for the first time. I'm gonna go on vacation, why not take you along for the ride? And as my trip progressed and I was gathering content, I really thought, I'm just gonna do it my way. I wanted to share my experience with you. I wanna tell you the story of my trip. So I will be including these kind of director cut shots to fill you in on what's happening on screen, especially Especially for the first few days where I was really figuring out how to vlog, how to record moments in time. My 40 day Euro trip was so much fun, so much drama, passion, romance, silliness, laughter, even tears. It really was an experience and I hope to share as much of that as possible with you. If anything, you'll be traveling through France with me and a bit of Croatia. I really hope you enjoyed the show. Thank you for watching. All right, before we begin episode one, day one, here's what you need to know. Backstory. Does this count as a prologue? I'm an angel, given. A couple of months before my departure, I had just ended a 10 year long relationship. So it was basically like a divorce. And I thought it would be a good idea to take a long vacation, travel with a backpack and my sister. And not only was I coming out of this very long, important relationship, I was also ending a year-long battle with mental health issues. And I had spent quite a few months working intensely. So I was spent. I thought, I don't know what I want to do next with my life. I'm turning 30 soon. So I thought it would be a great idea to take a long trip, kind of an eat, pray, love to figure out what my next steps would be, open myself up to the universe, meditate, pray, see what doors open and get to know myself better. My background is half French, half Cameroonian, but I grew up in the US and I never actually lived in France. This trip would have been an opportunity for me to not only discover part of France, the south of France, but also discover some cities and kind of scout, gauge whether or not these are cities I can envision myself moving to next year. Also at this time, my sister is living and studying in Paris. She's attending a design school and the curriculum is pretty rigorous. She was coming up on her summer break and we both thought, why not travel together? A lot of people seem to dread traveling with their siblings, but we're in a good place in our relationship where we thought this would actually potentially probably be fun i think that's it i think that's all you need to know going into this vlog now you know my mindset i was really like gotta change my life gotta change perspectives confused about my future wanting a new path forward and wanting a vacation all right let's watch howdy y'all day one about to leave with my backpack going to Europe, France. Oh my God. Wow, it is so weird to see myself two months ago. I look so pale and so tired. I had no idea just how much that year took out of me. I feel like I look better now. I've rejuvenated over this trip and you'll get to see the, the, the rejuvenation. Customs was a lot easier than I thought it would be. It was a breeze. I checked in online earlier, so I could even just go straight to the customs instead of going through the check-in line and everything. My favorite thing about airplane travel is the airplane food. I hope that I'm gonna have a great meal. Man, look at them curls. Look at how popping my curls were. Woo. You'll see, Europe was not kind to my hair. <laughs> and also traveling with a backpack, a carry-on, which is actually super convenient. Like I mentioned, I could check in online and just show up at the gate. However, you can't take many products and liquids with you, so you have to be very selective about what you bring. And since I was backpacking, I couldn't bring my whole hair kit with me. I took some, I clearly didn't take enough, and next time I travel, that's definitely something I'm going to consider. God, that baby doll. That's a great idea for a suitcase though, right? The 
There's just something so magical about being in the sky. I just love to listen to my music, look at the clouds, look at all the colors in the sky. I miss it already! airport really feels like Cameroon, like Africa. There's just something about it that's like <laughs> rustic. <laughs> So I'm staying with my sister in Paris who is staying at a family friend's house and my sister is at school and I arrived. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, I was arriving at the time my sister was passing her final exams basically. She had to build, build, can you say build? She had to produce an outfit and present it to these judges so she could get into her next year of school. Like it was super intense. So I really arrived when she was under the most stress imaginable. This is from my sister. Look at her. Oh, cute Sizzy. I had very little sleep. The flight was nice and smooth. The food made me nauseous, even though that's my favorite part of the flight. But I'm here and it's technically like 2, 3 a.m. Well, even later, 4 a.m. maybe for me back in Montreal, but it's like 10 a.m. here. And I'm just ready to discover Paris. I'm like just so excited to be in Paris. Gotta love them random accordion players in Paris. They're everywhere. It really wouldn't be Paris without them though, so I appreciate it. My sister, Project Runway. <laughs> Tiny screen I know I sound so crazy, but I really do love the products that you find in France. Obviously, there are things that I'm accustomed to here in Canada that I adore, and every country has their little things. So it, it just, I missed it, you know, it had been so long, over five to ten years since I'd been back to France, and I just appreciated discovering things that I used to consume and adored so much. See, at this point, I forced my sister to take a break to take a snack break because she hadn't eaten all day and she was working tirelessly for hours. So we went to the convenience store, grocery store down the street, got some snacks, ate, and then got back to the studio and kept working. I helped her with sewing and things because I know how to sew and I could build a skirt. I can make pillowcases, <laughs> basic things, but I got the skills necessary to be a good assistant. So I helped her out. She had a lot ahead of her and she was presenting the next day. Yeah. Long day of sewing, hours of sewing with this one. Not done. Six hours later, we still got one. I didn't film the rest of the evening, see, still a newbie at this, but basically we had to leave because the school grounds were shutting down. Closing for the evening, we went back to my sister's room and kept sewing. I think we stayed up until, I want to say 3, 4 a.m., like it was intense. And it's funny because I was jet lagged, right? I hadn't slept for I don't know how many hours and I would have these mad crashes of energy where I was ready to faint. And then my sister would just be like, hold off for a few seconds, we need to do this. And all of a sudden I would 
catch uh, second and third and fourth wind. It happened so many times. About to crash, energy again. About to crash, energy again. We did a lot in that night. I'm pretty sure we both crashed around 3 a.m. I can't remember exactly, but it was really late. And the hope was to wake up early to finish the garments because we had to present them around noon the next day. I love how I just said we had to present them. She had to present them. I became so involved that I felt like it was my garments to being created, you know? That's just how it goes. It was a lovely experience, intense. For me, obviously, it was lovely. Not for my sister who had been following this intense pace for months. So she was épuisée, exhausted. There you have it, that is day one. I hope you enjoyed my first day in Paris. I did not waste any time. Hit the ground running, arrived and boom, out on the town already being active, helping family. That's what a sister does, right? Are we gonna finish the garments on time? Is my sister gonna present? Will she get into her second year of design school? <gasps> Will I actually catch up on sleep? What new surprises are waiting for me around the corner? What will we do after she presents? Hmm. Wait, 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 before you go, remember to like this video, subscribe so you don't miss the next episodes, and hey, sharing is caring, so please share this with your peeps. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Bye.